Today I'm gonna to show you how to quickly document your code in Xcode, and we're gonna use this cart example from the project I'm currently working on to show you some, some variety in how you document that. So here we are in my cart objects that populates the screen that you see here that is the cart, and I'll give you some quick context because I know you, I know how you are. You see code on the screen, you wanna know what's going on. Again, this is my cart object. It is a singleton because you can add something to the cart literally from every screen in the app. Uh, and there's just basic functions, right? Add to cart, update the quantity of the cart, update the item, and then just create the order. Nothing crazy, but the keyboard shortcut I'm gonna show you to create this documentation is smart. Let me just show you so you can see. So take this update function, which has a bunch of parameters. If I just put my cursor in the update function and do command option slash, and you see I get a nice template for documentation, right? It knows the parameters I have. This is what I mean by saying it's smart, right? It knows I need a quantity, an item, an index, because it, that's the parameters. So it's already set me up with ease, right? I can describe this function, right? This updates the item in the cart. And then quantity is, you know, the new quantity of the item and I, i'm going quick here like you could probably be more descriptive with your documentation i'm going quick here for the sake of the video item is the uh grocery item that is being updated and index this is the uh location of the grocery item in the cart right so again you can get more detailed i just did that quickly so you could see but again command option slash gave me this nice setup uh for the documentation and again it's smart let's go down to here right create order product array all it does is return something so now when i do command option slash i just get the description and then what it returns and then if you return something that's a little more complex than just you know saying array of create order products you know you can describe that there so again it's command option slash to get this and i highly recommend you document your code now the quick little caveat is not all code needs documented like some of it is insanely straightforward and some people may argue no document everything you know you never know what people may find confusing I fall into the camp that like, you know, a lot of stuff should be documented, but there are some simple functions that like adding documentation is just adding redundant clutter. Like here, here's the meme behind it, right? That you see here. So it is kind of a, a gray area on what you should document and what you shouldn't document. And it is up to personal preference. But the point of this video, here's the quick way to do it. Command option slash, it'll give you the nice template to uh, make it easy for you to add documentation. If you like what I'm doing here, you like my presentation style, my teaching style, I started creating my own courses. You can check out the site on the screen here. You can watch the first 10% or so for free to get a feel for it. Um, all right, we'll see you in the next video.